Hey, Charles. Hey, Barles. For a second there, I didn't think you were going to pick up. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I had my music turned up and I was really focused on Blender. Blender? You doing some 3D modeling? Yeah, I'm trying to create a couple characters for this prototype I'm working on. Nice, man. I've actually been trying to get in the Blender myself. Mind if I see what you're working on? Um, yeah, sure. Let me just share my screen. What do you think? <laughs> wow, Barls. Looks cool. Um, what is it? <laughs> um, well, it's supposed to be, don't laugh, a demon. Oh yeah, uh, I could see that. He's got some horns there and um, are those hooved feet? <sighs> I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, what are you doing? Well, I got the day off from work, so I thought I'd test out this idea I have for an RPG, right? Okay. But I needed some character models, so I figured, heck, I've got all day. Why don't I just make them myself? Hmm, I see. And now it's almost noon, and all you've got is that one uh, demon model. All I want to do is see if this game mechanic I came up with would be fun, but I can't do that without a couple of character models. So? So why don't you just purchase some models off of the Unity Asset Store? Really? The Unity Asset Store? I'm kind of surprised to hear you say that. How come? Well, isn't that cheating? Not at all. Game developers do this all the time, even for AAA games. Yeah, but I'm an indie game developer. Does that mean I need to create my games and their assets, I don't know, independently? Well, you're still independent. You'd just be outsourcing some of the work. And that doesn't break any rules? <laughs> there are no rules. But if there was one, it'd probably be to do whatever it takes to finish your game. Because whatever you make is a unique expression of your own life experiences. And that's important to share. But you can't do that if you get stuck trying to model something extremely complex like a humanoid character and give up. Huh, I never thought about it like that. Yep. Okay, so finishing my game is the most important thing. I get that. But if I use a bunch of models from the asset store, will my project start to look unoriginal? Yeah, it's possible, but just have to be smart about it. How so? Yeah, there's a couple of things you could look out for, but in a nutshell, you want to look for high quality assets that are kept up to date and are highly customizable. Oof, that sounds expensive. I'm not gonna lie. Generally speaking, the better the asset, the more it's gonna cost. But that's why you have to look at each one as an investment. If a humanoid model costs you $60, you gotta ask yourself, what's worth more? The time it would take to learn human anatomy, 3D modeling, rigging, and texturing, or the ability to just drop a ready-made model into your scene so you can just get on with development. Well, when you put it like that, I could see how it'd be worth it to spend the money. So how do I find the right models? Well, since you're working on a prototype for an RPG, I recommend checking out the assets created by Infinity PBR. Here, uh, click on this link. Okay. Oh, wow. This is so much better than what I just spent my entire morning working on. Don't beat yourself up, man. Each Infinity PBR asset is literally created by an entire team of artists and developers. Wait, there are more of these? Oh yeah, click on the publisher link. Whoa, look at all these assets. Yep, and like I said, there's a team behind each one. Wow, why do they need a whole team? Well, for one, every asset is completely customizable in a couple of different ways. For example, they all include the Substance Painter source file, so you can modify the textures at the lowest level. Oh yeah, that's great. Substance Painter gives you a lot of control, so I can basically make them look however I want. Definitely. You can modify the diffuse textures, bump maps, add decals or tattoos, the whole nine yards. Nice, right? But that's just at the material level. You can also change the shape of each Infinity PBR model through something called mesh morphing. Mesh morphing? Isn't that just opening the model in Blender and modifying the geometry? It's actually much easier than that. The Infinity PBR team created a custom script that allows you to change physical characteristics right inside of Unity. You can even randomize them at runtime too. Oh, neat. Kind of looks like the character creation screen in a game like Skyrim. Yeah, pretty much. And that's not all. <laughs> feel like I've won something on a game show. <laughs> Your purchase of the Infinity PBR asset also comes with custom composed remixable music, customizable sound effects, and believe it or not, beautiful concept art. All right, all right, you've convinced me. I'm definitely gonna grab some of these assets, but uh, I don't think I can afford more than like two or three right now. It's funny you should mention that because Infinity PBR is actually part of a humble bundle that's going on right now and will be available until November 11th. Oh, no kidding. Yep, uh, here's a link. 
the ultimate fantasy game dev humble bundle. It's great value too. The $1 tier gets you three monsters. The uh, beat the average tier includes even more monsters and additional packs. And the $25 tier includes 18 total packs, which is worth like $900 on the asset store. I mean, you can't go wrong. And it's more than enough to help you prototype your game. Oh yeah, this is perfect. And not only that, but I could use a lot of these for other projects too. Check out this Magic and Melee Sounds library. Oh, and look at this lock picking pack. You have plenty to work with. And on top of that, with Humble Bundles, you can choose where your money goes. So if you're feeling generous, you can give more than each cheer suggests and make sure that the artists and the charities get the most of it. Oh, that's right. Let's see, do something.org and World Land Trust. Well, I'm convinced. I'm grabbing the top tier right now. Sweet. Looks like you'll be able to salvage the rest of your day off after all. Thanks, man. I would have been spending the whole day on this model with nothing to show for it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I want to learn 3D modeling eventually, but you're right. The goal is to finish games. So that's what I should be focusing on. Exactly. You've got a cool mechanic that you want to try out. So why spend all of your time in Blender? Yep. Speaking of which, I, I better get back to it. I'm sure it'll take me a few minutes to get all of this downloaded and imported. I'll leave you to it. If you need anything, don't hesitate to give me a call. All right, man, will do. Catch you later. Good luck. Thank you to all of my patrons, and a special shout out to Alan Curavilla, Amara Duravonic, Christian, DJ Weaver, Dustin, Jennifer Irwin, Mighty Possum, Nav from Academy of Games, Pachar Bungo, Rob Homewood, R Star, Saurabh Chatterjee, Trond, Umut Sarin, Usaf Ali Castle, and Urizer. Thanks, guys.